How are you? How's it going? Fine. Hey, What's your name? Uh, my name's Isaac, man. Okay, and your badge number? 12028. 12028. And what's your name? What's your name? How do you say it? Francikowski. And how, what's your badge number? 7453. Okay. I wanted to, uh, what, what's conspiracy to violate civil rights, crimes? So what exactly is that conspiracy to violate civil rights? What's going on with me is I have a wealthy stalker and routinely I don't get services. I'm trying to escape because of abuse. I have a report. You have a what? What's wealthy stalker. I have a police report. Okay. I have a, uh, first off, I have a stalking case that uh, yeah, I reported a long time ago in Atasca too. I have a case out the Northern District Court and I have a harassment case out of South Central okay. Patrol. Okay, so stalking, harassment, and a civil case. Okay, so what's the problem today? Yeah, do you know what conspiracy to violate civil rights is? You don't? Okay. Well, that's what I'm trying to report today. Um, conspiracy to violate civil rights is when people scheme so you don't get services. They scheme and they concoct things so a person, with him, he wants me to stay in danger. He's a dangerous stalker. So I have all these reports of him stalking. So what he has people do is scheme so I don't get services and I stay violated and stay in his abuse and danger. I want to report the conspiracy to violate civil rights crimes. So I guess you don't have the education on conspiracy to violate civil rights, but that's yes. Uh huh. It's his name is Jason Gardner. J A S O N. Gardner G A R D N E R. It's May nineteenth, I believe. It's eighty. But you, it's Google. He's a very prominent man. That's how he's able to do all this. Who's he to you? As someone, I don't know exactly how I met him. I think I may have met him. I thought, but I, I think I may have known him. I'm trying to figure out the pieces because I'm not an investigator, and I've, I've slept, slipped through the cracks numerous times with the police department, so I have no clue. But I think I've been stalked for a long time. Have you met him before? Uh huh. You've met him. Uh huh. How many times have you met? I met him in person three times, but he didn't really need to see me in person because he had the cameras installed in my home and was watching me hidden cameras. So he didn't need to see me. He hacked into my phone. Where's your home? When I had a home. When you had a home? Uh -huh. okay. But let's move forward. I don't want to tamper with evidence because that is a crime. So um, he didn't need to really see me routinely because he had cameras installed in the house with surveillance of me. So, but the thing of it is, since he's so prominent, it's very difficult for me to escape the abuse because he entices businesses and abuses power so they don't give me services and my life stays in jeopardy. All right. Do you have an idea on you? I'll get your info too. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm wanting to do is see why these multiple businesses don't want me to get services to escape his abuse. Because that if it's seriously to violate civil rights, I thought it was a crime. Okay. Isn't it? Never heard of okay, well then maybe we can get an investigation to see why so many businesses have a stock in keeping me in danger. Because if a wealthy abuser can have businesses violate your civil, civil rights and keep you in danger, that's pretty sick, wouldn't you say? Yes, ma'am. Because the place, places that you go to get protected from them, if you can't get protected from people that are supposed to keep you safe, for a stalker that's dangerous, how would that be for the victim? Fiona, that's your person. Uh -huh. So they don't have a case manager here. They know that my life is in jeopardy. I did a grievance. Now this morning they walked off and left me when I was trying to ask questions on how I do apartment applications. If they've seen the police here multiple times, why would they walk off, be so rude to walk off while I'm asking questions, begging for my life? Two people and ignored me, they said nothing. Two people, not just one. So if I'm begging for my life, desperate and trying not to get murdered and these people mistreat me like that, what is that about? So what do you think he's trying to do to you? Well, if it stalks, 76% of stalking ends in violence. People that stalk and have obsessions aren't safe, they're dangerous. Couple that with trying to control the government and shelters and other businesses, how dangerous is that? And let's not say control, controlling businesses and the government, not trying to actually doing it. You tell me if 76% of stalking leads to violence, how dangerous would that be? Pretty dangerous. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you take any medications or anything? No, I take um, I take iron, um, some vitamin supplements. Uh huh. Okay. But I, I have like at the Northern District Court, it does say that these are true infectious events. I've been trying to report things a long time. I went in a task. I wanted them to come investigate the cameras. I said that come look and check and find the hidden cameras. He's posting to me what he's doing. They wouldn't for some reason. That info that, okay. They wouldn't come do it. I'm not a detective. I was having a lot of financial distress. I, I didn't know how to go check for hidden cameras in the home. But That's why he kept it. You said he's posting to you? He, it, it can be like, for example, in a Tasca, my daughter, I bought a whole family pack of uh, ice cream cones. And it was a while, like uh, maybe a week or so, and I didn't check on the ice cream cones, and I noticed my daughter had ate up the whole pack of ice cream cones. I said, you ate up that whole pack of ice cream cones by yourself? And then a, few, uh, a little while later, someone posts ice cream cones to let me know that they heard me talk about the ice cream cones. We were had a casual walk, and we were talking about um, Halloween stuff, how we were gonna, what we were gonna do for Halloween, the finger foods that look like Halloween treats, that kind of look like Halloween things, that like you can make something that looks like fingers, but it's a treat, like a broken off finger. So me and my daughter was talking about that, and we get back home on Facebook in April, and there's all these Halloween treats that we were talking about on the internet. So that routinely happens to let me know that someone was listening to my conversation. This was just casually strolling down the street talking with my daughter. So I wasn't on the phone, so someone was monitoring and listening to what I was saying through my, uh, through my phone. So okay, you have to so keep in mind... Because what I know is there, there's applications like on Google... Like, you're, like a, an Alexa, for instance, it, it routinely listens to you like you're talking about dog food. Well, ma'am, uh, sir, you have research. to keep in mind that I'm getting stalked in the ice cream cones. That was under another post. But tampering with evidence is also a crime. That, do you have that, like, evidence that you could show me? The evidence of what you, I mean, you, we have to get a really big time investigator to go through the Facebook and see the post. Well, I mean, that's what, that's what we're, well, we're talking, no, I'm doing the conspiracy to violate civil rights to see why all these businesses are trying to violate my civil rights and keep me in danger. But as for the evidence, I'm trying to give it to you because that way the investigator or the so detective can hear it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So why, let's not tamper with evidence. So back, I, routinely, I would have a conversation. And then I would see a post because when you're trying to get away with crimes and you're brilliant and you have a lot of info, uh, people of high power help help and cover for you, what you can do is you post it under fake names, a whole bunch of fake pages. That way you don't get caught. You post it in chats. So you said you met him three times, right? Well, here's the thing. It's not my fault. He he don't we don't need to see he don't need to see me if he can have people set up cameras in my house. I think I met him on the internet, but I know him longer than that. He didn't need to see me. He had cameras in my house surveillance of me. He was good. Oh, was well, somebody? He said that he was going to marry me. It's supposed to be an online relationship. Okay, so was it an ex-boyfriend? Or? Yeah, it was supposed to be a dating thing. Okay, so he met you. You guys dated for a little bit, right? It was supposed to, be, yeah, online, and he claimed that he was going to marry me and all this different things on the internet. Okay, do you have that info? So he did it under fake pages. I did. I reported to a task and showed him the page and everything. I can't remember the screen name, but if I reported on, if you connect with the TASCA, they did a police report, and I showed them all the proof. I showed him all the porn that was in my Facebook. They did a police report? Do you have that case number? I don't have it with me, but if, if you can you can connect with law enforcement, right? With law enforcement? Yeah, you can connect with them, right? We are law Right, so I would imagine that you can connect and get it. Yeah, so you can get all the police reports and all the chaos. I had break-ins. My window was busted out. A task of police department. Yeah, uh huh. I had a break in. My car window was busted out. That's by Waco. It's a real small town. I actually saw him in person stalking me in that small town. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I know people, they keep protecting him. Let me tell you about I want because keep people keep protecting when I try to say that I saw him stalking me in person in a task. Of, it's a real small. Okay, but hold on. Can I please? This is vital evidence, and I don't want you to tamper with evidence. In a task. Of, a small town, I actually saw him doing it in person. So I saw him in a task of my small town stalking me in person. I never saw him again. Because, well, a uh, couple, couple other times I thought I saw him, but I can't, you know. But I saw him stalking me in a task, so he started having multiple other people do it. So what? have you ever heard of gang stalking? 
Well, I'm just trying to figure have out. you heard of gang stalking? I've never heard of gang stalking. Okay, what gang stalking is for prominent people, they don't have to have one stalker. They set up a gang full of stalkers or a community of stalkers. Okay. What so, I'm going to do for you right now, I'm going to go run his name, okay? But first, is he, is he a black male, white male? Black. Black male? Okay. You can Google his name. He's a prominent man. And a prominent, you okay. know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go run his name, okay? I'm going to see what I can find on him. All right, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Right? Stay right here. Are you calling me back? Um, well, I want the police report number, sir. Sir, are you tampering with evidence? Okay, well, I want the police report number for the what I, my report and the investigation. So what do you want done from us? Yeah, I want the police report number for the crime and no tampering with evidence because I thought it was a felony. Conspiracy to violate conspiracy to violate civil rights is a crime. And if you're are you tampering with evidence because that's a felony? Well, then I need a police report number that I've reported it. Right now, I can't. I'm trying to go check his name. I want a police report number. I when you try to protect him and I'm trying to get a police report number and you won't give it to me. Yeah, are you? I need a police report number. Well, what do you think the feds will consider tamping? Tampering. You. Yeah, is there a particular I mean, reason why you don't want me to, is there a particular reason why you're starting an argument and covering for it? I'm asking questions. Yeah, so are you trying to commit a crime right now well, and tamper with evidence? evidence trying to, uh, what is that, when you hinder someone's uh, prosecution? Isn't that a crime too? Hindering pro prosecution? What do you consider tampering with evidence? Right? Well, I'm reporting a crime and I need my police. That's what I did. I report the crime so I can, it can get investigated. And I tampering with evidence is trying to cover for it. Yeah, that's what I need because I don't need police tampering with evidence. I don't know why I split, split through the cracks in the task a long time ago. I don't want an incident report number that's tampering with evidence. I want an investigation. It is a report number you asked for. So you want to do an incident so it won't get investigated? No, that's the same thing, man. Okay, so it'll get investigated. Okay, well, tampering with evidence is a crime, and people that keep doing that need to get their consequences. Yeah, so first off, why would these businesses, why would you mistreat me and I just told you my experiences, sir? Why would you mistreat me and I just told you my experiences? You words your compassion. It's like almost like you're covering for it. And I thought that was a felony, tampering with evidence. I don't know. It's been a minute. I, it's hard for me to escape the abuse. I said I don't know. It's hard for me to escape the abuse. So like I said, it's hard for me to get services for some reason. And if police are behind it, you know, then I don't, I don't want to discuss it. I mean, but is that vital? It's been a while. I've been having a hard time getting services. I wonder if police departments is behind it. That's why they won't do the reports. You think maybe police would try to enforce someone to stay in abuse for a with a dangerous doctor? You think that's possible for police to do that? Hello, what's your name? Birchville, and your badge number? Okay. Oh, right here. Are you trying to intimidate me from trying to do it? They're giving me a police report number. No, man. Why did that give you? Because I don't. It's Keanu Clark. Yeah. I have a case out the Northern District Court saying these are true and factual events. I have a case, a harassment case out of South Central Patrol. I have a stalking case. And for some reason, it's like people are trying to cover for it. I just wanted an investigation. And I don't know why all this keeps happening to me trying to report crimes. It's like people are trying to cover for it, which is I thought was a crime. I thought hindering the case was a crime. And if I keep reporting things and people try to intimidate me and bully me to keep me in danger and I have a stalker and I have a case out the Northern District Court, a stalking case and a harassment case, why would I need right care? I need a detective. Is there a particular reason why I have a hard time getting a detective and right care keeps showing up? Maybe you can know, you know that. Oh, no, that's what I'm trying to get a case number because I'm reporting something today and tampering with evidence is a crime and trying to intimidate me and scare me to cover for the person that's dangerous. Okay, uh, I thought that was a crime for police. Because if you stop sending right here and send detectives, then we, you would know what I'm saying is true. But right here won't get out the way.
to investigate all my all of my reports. See, in Atasca, had they did an investigation and looked for the cameras, then they wouldn't have had to think I was mentally ill. But some kind of way, I slipped through the cracks. Like now, because they keep sending right here, it's hard for me to get an investigation. Ma'am, I'm doing a police report. I don't need right here. I need detectives. I told you that the other day. I have I have a case out the Northern District Court saying these are true infectious events. I have a harassment case. Uh huh. I need. I'm doing a police report today. Okay. Okay. Here's the report number two one zero five seven three seven six two. Now, sending right care is like it's harassment and intimidation tactics. So where's the detective? Why do they keep bringing right care instead of detectives? I've been, okay, so I've been having a hard time meeting with the detective for years. Remember I told you I reported that someone had cameras in my house in Atasca, and instead of them investigating the hidden cameras, they, I slipped through the cracks. Had they investigated, you wouldn't have to keep sending right care out. You know that what I'm saying is true in sexual events, like the Northern District Court said. I did. They couldn't find the records. Yeah, and then the records department kept being closed indefinitely. I, I, I have reports of that. I, how, if the records department is closed indefinitely, how do you find reports and how would they close it? I tried to report identity theft, but they did, said they would take me to jail. That should be on camera footage. Why would police threaten to take me to jail for reporting identity theft? If a dangerous stalker can steal money from you and stop your card, why would police threaten to take me to jail for reporting crimes and send right here out? Routinely. Well, do you want to speak to, to us? No, I just, I'm trying to report crimes, and I don't know why right care instead of detectives keeps coming out and why police would threaten to take me to jail for reporting identity theft. I still haven't reported it. Well, I, every citizen of the, every citizen has a police come out, and six police come out and threaten to take them to jail for reporting identity theft? That's how you treat all the citizens? Well, I tried to report identity theft, and they would not take it and threaten to take me to jail in the police headquarters. So I don't understand why when I'm reporting things right here and the police come out and try to intimidate me for reporting identity theft and all these things, if it's not corruption. I have civil rights, and I don't understand why police try to enforce me to stay violated by a dangerous stalker. Where's the detective? I tried to get the records. That's that. Hard. So I, I get what you're saying. I hear you. I honestly do. So what I'm saying to you is at this point, you, you have to go down to the headquarters and you want to speak to the detective. They can come out on the field. So they can send right care. Right care is something different because these officers called us out here to see do you need help or is there anything? I do need help. I need some people to start going to jail and people start investigating these crimes. I don't understand why police come out and try to threaten and take me to jail for reporting identity theft and I still haven't reported it. I don't understand why I have to go to jail at a domestic violence support group begging for my life. So, like I said, understand. Well, if you understand, don't you think those are outrageous experiences? Well, sir, I don't want to argue with you. I got the police report number. If these will get investigated, I, I don't think that you're in your right mind. You may need to speak with them because if six armed police come third and take me to jail for reporting identity theft, you should understand that you may need to talk to them. Anyone that is okay with six armed police threatening to take me to jail for reporting identity theft so, needs to talk to right so here. Okay. No, I need for right care to stop coming out when I'm catching the bus, when I'm ordering food. I don't know why right care is so helpful, helpful with, uh, so, can I get help with domestic abuse from right care? Can I, because I'm, I'm a government witness and I'm uh, begging for my life. So what kind of services can you provide me to escape it and get a witness protection? Witness protection uh -huh. would be done through the Oh, I need to get in witness protection because I have all those cases and I get harassed. Domestic violence services are actually You just said through the, the police. They're denying me services. That's what I'm doing, a police report. Hold on. Are you trying to enforce that I stay in danger? Okay. Okay, well, hold on. She said, she said talk to the police. Is the... Okay, so are you trying to keep me in danger, sir? Okay, so I don't need gaslighting. She said that I talked to the police to get in witness protection. So how do I get in witness protection? Are you trying to keep me in danger? What's your badge number? What's your badge number, sir? My badge number is 11080. 11080? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you don't want me to know how to get in witness protection and I have all those cases? She just said it's through the police. So, okay, how do I get in witness protection? Are you guys trying to keep me in jeopardy for some reason? What I'm here to do, and I can't answer some of your questions, but I am 
I think maybe I can't get help because maybe this is the problem right here, you guys. Maybe this is why you guys keep covering for it because you're maybe controlling well, these businesses. You need to go down to headquarters, just like when you go to see the Well, I went to headquarters and they told me I wasn't talking to anyone and that's, they sent the six armed police out when I was trying to report identity theft. They, I, they wouldn't, they were corrupt. Ruff said don't even take police reports from her. They kept covering for everything. And if the police department starts being on abuser's payroll, is that a threat to you national security? To yeah, I went for a whole, a whole bunch of times and they never let me speak with anyone. But the point of it is, if when the police department can't start protect people because they're covering for a dangerous stalker, don't you think that's dangerous for everyone? Because what about if people have authentic things and they spent so much time and effort to violate someone so for profit? Yeah, they wouldn't. I, I, it was hard because they wouldn't even let me speak with the victim's advocate. And then they were too busy trying to make sure I didn't report the identity theft, threatening to take me to jail and the hit police headquarters lobby. So it was kind of difficult when they were covering for it for some reason. And if you, the task, uh, you know, if you would have, they would have investigated the hidden cameras, I could have watched and hid from my abuser. I mean, because it's kind of something if someone can set up hidden cameras in your house. And then the police department won't investigate it and find them, so I won't have to be watched and violated. Then you got to send right care because you don't know if it's really true because they didn't do their job in investigating and find them and take them out. Okay, so I, but how am I going to get the records if the police headquarters said that they're closed indefinitely? So this is going to be an investigation? I, I do a police report for an investigation. Are you trying to hide that fact? Is this? You want to listen? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm talking to you, ma'am. I, I asked, is this going to be an investigation? That's, that's my question. That's, that's the records of, hey, we came out, we spoke to police. Is this going to be an, inv I want an investigation. You want an investigation? Go down to headquarters and ask the secret detective. Okay, so are you trying to tamper with evidence and cover for it with all these people, witnesses? <laughs> Okay, so I want to know, I want to utilize my civil rights and know if this is going to be an investiga investigation. Okay, well, tampering with evidence is a crime. So I got all of you guys' names right here. What's your name, ma'am? Nicole. Nicole? And you can't help me with police corruption and getting in witness protection? I'm here to help with mental health protection. Yeah, didn't I talk to you the other day? Aren't you a social worker? Aren't you required by the state to report abuse, suspected abuse? Yes, I see it. I'm witness to it, yes. Okay, so now if you heard all these things that you said, and heard out the Northern District Court case. You believe that you have a delusion? You believe that I have a delusion? Yes, With police reports? That needs therapy, that needs mental health therapy. Well, let me give you my YouTube channel, so then you can check it out. Okay. Let me give you my YouTube channel. You got a pen? It's K-E-Y-A-N-A-C-L-A-R-K-P-E-A-C-E. Mm -hmm. -E -E. Trying to frame someone and taking bribes is a crime. Trying to send, frame me for mental illness so a person can get away with crimes is criminal activity. We do not frame people for okay, well, maybe you should check it out, and I don't know why you wouldn't believe the Northern District Court and think I have delusions. Why wouldn't you believe the Northern District Court? Why wouldn't the task could come look at the, um, why wouldn't they come investigate and look for the cameras? I think that maybe you're paid to say that I have a delusion. But maybe someone needs to give you the charges that you deserve for trying to frame me. Well, go, go look on the YouTube channel. Because if you, if six armed police come try to threaten me to take me to jail, oh, that's not a delusion. It's on camera footage, ma'am. Is there any particular reason why you're covering for six armed police coming in there trying to take me to jail for reporting identity theft? Hey, Ms. Clark, we're sitting there. You need to talk to her. I don't want her coming back out here because she's like she's tampering with evidence hindering the case. If six armed police threaten to take me to jail for reporting identity theft, I don't have a delusion. It's like she's trying to frame me. So I don't need her back out here harassing me. Harassment is a crime. Well, harassment is a crime, and that's that's. What, I just want enough evidence that that's what's going on, so people can start going to prison for it. Sure. Well, they were harassing me when I tried to report identity theft, and they threatened to take me to jail for reporting it. That was harassment and corruption. And I, you keep ignoring that. I don't know why you would ignore that, ma'am. Yeah, you too. But they were really. They they. I was going down before. Yeah, I was going down. No, they would take me off. It's happened multiple times. They have detained me, took me off in these schemes. 
It's already happened. They're behind while this place is acting like this. That's why they don't want to take the reports. It sets them up for their criminal. I mean, it, I, I don't know what people are waiting on confessions. <laughs>